to commit a crime. It would be a white-collar crime. After you committed your first murder, what was the emotional effect on you? I'd like to call my lawyer. You got to the point where it's, I cannot do this anymore. You're at the point where that's it. You just can't take any more. You've stopped functioning. That jumping-off point where you begin to wonder if, if maybe actually doing it will give you that which is beyond just reading about it or looking at it. What do you think you'll look like a thousand years from now? Gray bones in a grave. Uh, what would Jesus have to say about same-sex marriage? If a gay person wants to marry, let him suffer too. I'm a divorced priest, um, happily remarried but unhappily divorced. What fashion trends do you follow? Well, I usually look in magazines or um, see what the kids at school are wearing. You collect birdhouses, don't you? I sure do. I wish to speak on the healing power of forgiveness. People who dial a wrong number more than a couple times a year are simply careless. Love is good, but the hard facts of life and society stand against it. And what do all these species have in common? Long childhoods. Hey, you're not just another face to me. I really love you. Excuse me for being so self-centered here. Sometimes I walk away, sometimes I just ignore people. Somebody ought to come up with a newspaper that only has good news in it. I wish the phone company could take five dollars from everyone who misdials and credit it to the wrong number they called. These are very, very serious thoughts. God gave you a beautiful body. <laughs> I'll still respect you tomorrow. Basically, I was a normal person. We had a wonderful Christian home. What's the point of going on anymore? This thing will destroy my family. Research shows that 40% of men suffer from shyness. Uh, you can't fight injustice in the world only with love. You're doing things to make yourself happy instead of being happy. Maybe you should give it a rest. Go shoot some hoops, ride your bike, take a little break. 